Did you know you can create columns inside of a toggle in Notion? Tasia like Fantasia here with another Notion quick tip for you. So to create columns inside of a toggle is not something that you can do natively within Notion as of right now, but there is a workaround you can use to create columns inside of a toggle. Let's dive in. All right, if we want to create columns inside of a toggle, what you want to do first is create a page. So when I create this toggle, you'll see if I want to add columns, I can't do that inside of the toggle. Like it doesn't allow me to create a column inside of the toggle. So when you create a toggle in Notion, you'll see that you can't actually create the columns inside of the toggle. So we need to do a little bit of a Notion hack to make this work. What you want to do is take that toggle button, turn it into a page. You can use the drop down menu to do this, or you can use keyboard shortcuts. So now we can go ahead and open that page and this is where we can create these columns. So another quick little hack that I like to use when I'm creating columns, a lot of people will start with the first column and then drag it over all the way to the right side of the column to get them to add in. But if you have three columns that you already know, this is the three that you want to use. The quickest, easiest way to create the three columns is to just drag right here on the left side of it. So now you see we have these three columns in our toggle. From here, we head back to that main page and then we're going to turn the page back into a toggle. And now you see that you have those columns and you can continue to add blocks below each of those columns. If you need to add additional columns to this, then you will need to turn it back into a page, adjust the column formatting as you want it, and then turn it back into a toggle when you're done. And from here, you can add them, move them around. But again, I can't. Oh. That's new. <laughs> so looks like once you have the toggle created with the columns, you are able to continue adding columns to the existing one. So let's see. That's kind of cool. I didn't realize that you could do that in Notion. So yay, learning new things every day. <laughs> but that is exactly how you create columns inside of a toggle button in Notion. Are you going to use this in your Notion workspace? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified when the next Notion quick tip comes out. Stay creative, everyone.